All right, and welcome everyone to the first edition of the Geometry Screencast. My name is Mr. Felstrom, bringing you tips and tricks to pass those geometry benchmarks. Uh, starting off with the Pythagorean Theorem. You may remember Pythagorean Theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A and B are the legs. So what you got to do is find that right angle, and that makes up the two legs, A and B. C is then the hypotenuse. So setting up this particular problem, we have 8 squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. Uh, you get 64 and 16, which add to 80. Now to undo the x squared, we're going to square root, and we get taken down to x equals the square root of 80. Here we have two options. We could estimate, which is it's about 8.9, or we could simplify. Now this is what I did. Uh, over on the left here, I listed some factors of 80. I am looking for the largest square number, which happens to be right here, the 5 and the 16. So I rewrote square root of 80 as a square root of 5 times the square root of 16. The square root of 16 is 4, and so I get my final answer of 4 square root 5. Part B, I have uh, another example, and this one's for you to try. So why don't you go ahead and pause this clip, and we will uh, uh, come back in a minute. Okay, welcome back. Uh, here's a slightly different setup. You have uh, A and B being the legs. Uh, here's the 90. This time it's X and 11. The hypotenuse is 13. So here are my solutions uh, for this particular example. Setup is X squared plus 11 squared equals 13. Now to get the X, I am going to have to subtract 21 and then do my square rooting. So you get 48. A square root of 48 decimal wise is about 6.9 or we can break down the factors there's a lot more factors here uh, but I found the biggest one right there is uh, the 16 and 3 so 48 is square root of 3 times the square root of 16 the square root of 16 is 4 so my answer is 4 square root 3 hope this helps and uh, tune in next time for another edition of the Geometry Screencast.